Hello there, this is Dave Allen with a goal with Good and Geeky. And today we're going to have a look at Paranoia Text Encryption for PC Pro. I've got the Pro version, but you can get a free version of this and it works really well. And if you're on the Pro version and you send an um, encrypted message to someone who's got the free version, no problem, it will decrypt it. But let's have a look how it works. It's available on the Mac, it's available on Windows, it's available on Linux, iOS and Android. It's everywhere. So it's a really good one to use if you want to do some encryption of text before you send it to someone. So let's get this set up. So I've got Paranoia open up here and I've got a text document open up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a password in first of all. Now this works on a per document basis or a per session basis. It's not for a sort of vault where you've got everything within a sort of area which is encrypted and using one password to get it all done. So for this here we're just going to put a simple password in. I'm putting in 1234. You're going to use a better password than that and you're going to save the password and generate the password in something like one password or other password manager. Okay, so look, what I'm going to do is just uh, got that set up there. So I'm going to go into my um, text document. I'm going to click on Command and Copy to copy that there. And I'm going to paste that into the document there. At the moment, it's set to do AES 256-bit encryption, but there are a whole lots of other ones you can choose as well. Because I've got the Pro version, I've got these three extra ones here at the end. Um, doesn't really matter which one you use. When it gets to the other end, whether you're using the Pro version or not Pro version, it knows which one's been used and it uses the correct algorithm to decrypt it. So let's for the moment use the AES 256-bit encryption and to encrypt it is as simple as clicking on encrypt. So that's pretty good. I like that and that's just all one long line of text. So what we want to do is I think it makes it neater if we sort of go into uh, settings in here and uh, just leave that in there as default. You can have it so that it goes just as numbers but base 64 is good enough. And I'm going to put a space every 10 characters. So every 10 characters, it'll put a space in there. Let's click on OK and click on Encrypt again. So you can see now it's just uh, put a space in every 10 characters. So what we want to do now is we want to uh, get this uh, text here. So let's uh, click on Command A to get uh, all of it selected and Command Copy. It's been sent off and someone on uh, another Mac somewhere else has uh, opened it up. Uh, maybe it's been sent by email, maybe it's been sent by messenger, whichever way you want to send it, no problem. It can go through uh, Telegram, which has end-to-end -end encryption anyway, which is a good uh, way to uh, use it, or Signal, or Wire, or the end-to-end uh, -end encryption messenger service that I like, which is called Threema. At the other end, the person's got the message, and let's just uh, delete this here to start him fresh. And uh, let's, it's, they've got their set as Serpent 256-bit, or maybe it's in there set as Blowfish. It doesn't matter what this is set at, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to get something decrypted. So we need to paste it into this section here. So we're going to paste it in there, and that's what's just been encrypted by the application at the starting point, as it were. And we're going to put a password in there. If we don't put a password in, I click on Decrypt, it just tells me to enter a password. Or if I go in there and I put uh, 4321 and I tend to decrypt, it says encrypt password or encrypted data because I didn't put the proper password in there. So let's do it right this time. So let's put the proper password in there and we'll tell it to uh, decrypt. And straight away it's been decrypted. It's as quick as that. It's marvellous. I love this application. It's really, really good. It tells us at the bottom that it was decrypted using AES 256-bit decryption. So like I said, when you do this, it will decrypt in the using the proper algorithm to do the job. You don't have to actually tell it which one to use, which is kind of nice. I like that. So that's how it works on the uh, Mac. And I presume it's going to work pretty similar if you're sending it to someone and they're using a PC or if they're using Linux. But what if you're sending it to someone and they're using the uh, iPad version of this? Well, let's have a look and see what, how it goes. So I'm going to go open up the iPad now. So we're going to put in our password first of all. And we have to enter that twice. Click on Set. So our password's been put in there. I'm going to click on Paste. We've got the information in there from... Uh, it's been sent by whatever means, by encrypted messenger. It's been sent by email. It doesn't matter. It's been encrypted, so you can send it whichever way you like. You can send it through something insecure like Facebook Messenger. It doesn't really matter. So all we've got to do now is tell it to decrypt, and it's decrypted. So there you go. Easy as that. 
Okay, so whatever you put into this area by clicking on paste it, it gets done. Or if you've got a file that you've sent, you can go and get your file. And uh, maybe it was this with this one here. I want to decrypt that, so let's click on decrypt, and I can decrypt that. Any any files that you've uh, got saved into this area, you can decrypt, which is kind of nice, isn't it? Okay, so what about if we want to send something from our iPad and have it decrypted at the other end? Works just the same. Okay, so I've got this one here in this um, document. It says, uh, "Can I persuade you to stop using email?" Please stop using email. It's uh, not safe. And I'm going to click on encrypt. So I've got this uh, encrypted now. So what I want to do is I want to go to share. And I'm going to go to copy. Now I'm going to go back into my uh, Mac. And I'm going to tell it to paste. So that's the one that we just uh, sent from the iPad. And it's come out there on my, my, my Mac. And I'll just tell it to decrypt. Now, wasn't that easy? This is the unencrypted text. And can I persuade you to stop using email? So as you see at the bottom, it tells us what uh, algorithm was used. It was using 3Fish 124-bit. And everything was OK. Now, that's really nice and easy to use. And you can use it on your iPhone as well. So this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky, showing you how to use Paranoia text encryption. And if you send this using, uh, say, for instance, if you're using Thunderbird like I do, and I send it to somebody else who's using PGP, it will be double encrypted because it'll get encrypted by the PGP as well. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Have some uh, encryption fun and make sure that your personal private information gets encrypted when you send it via the Internet because there are bad people out there. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon.